Another piece of writing that I think students think is revision, but it's not really revision, is editing. And I tell them it's like planting apple seeds in the ground. First we eat the apple, that's, that's um, the, all the reading we've been doing because it's so satisfying. But then we take the seeds that come from that apple and plant them and that's our writing. So we've grown through, going through the writing process, we've grown this tree, our essay, and this tree now has apples on it. And those are our drafts. So we're going to take a draft that we really want to polish up. And that's what editing is, is just polishing that apple so it's ready for consumption. And editing is purely working on not the structure, not the literary techniques, but on grammar and spelling and punctuation. And I teach those concepts through the literature as well. So how do you punctuate di dialogue? Flip back to this essay by Sandra Cisneros. How did she punctuate it? How do you format um, when you've been doing code switching or you're using um, um, colloquial language, like my kids speak, right, in dialogue? How, how do you punctuate that? Well, let's go back to the essays that we read where those techniques were used and see how they've punctuated it. Let's look at how the author has punctuated introductory clauses, right? Or whether you put a comma before the and in this case. And so all those lessons about punctuation and grammar come from the literature again by recognized authors that they love and they respect by this point. They're probably reciting their essays by memory. But I want them also to copy their ways of punctuating and knowing that there are many ways, differences in punctuation rules, in grammar rules, depending on the circumstances of this piece, particular piece of writing.